All right, I wanted to show off an older token package item that I've re always really wanted to like, but it just felt off. And it's the Carnax armor package. The the you get a, basically you just purchase um, the weapon, and then it gives you access to the summons. Um, so here's the weapon here, and it has. Sometimes this verb is gone. What you get is an energy Elivon clickable skill, and then you actually can transform into the, the armor. So what I've done is I've developed a little bit of a heal loop, um, and it can work in a couple of ways. But I'm relying on Creature 72 to stack panic along the way. And a lot of what I like to do is sort of a hybrid system of um, some offense, a lot of resource heals, but some defense too, a mixed bag of stuff, um, just to provide versatility. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm using Tropo Shield to enhance my offense as well as my energy jelly here. But what I'll do here is I'll just show off a couple ways you could go. So have a celerity here. So the first turn, what I'm gonna do is mind bludgeon. It'll do the energy damage. And then you get the Elivon here. Okay, so I did celerity, right? And so and I'm on energy jelly heal mode. So I'm gonna eat into my hit points to fuel my SP. And then what I can do is I can actually so we have I'm gonna change my energy Ellie Volm here so we have three rounds of 128 percent hopefully this works all right so now we're at three rounds of 161 and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring an optical for the lucky strikes which will enhance this guy's heals so it's gonna go twice with the tropo shield Ellie Volm and this other Ellie Volm uh, plus lucky strikes so it should do some pretty good um, healing and then this skill here actually does a two round energy burn that heals SP by 1.12 times damage and it actually got a lot of hits and you can do a lot of damage with it so as you can see so energy jelly should do some good healing here so I've just paid for my SP usage and then I just healed 900 SP a lot of that um, I think I saw one of those lucky strike bugs um, so the burn is actually feeling my SP so basically I'm using essence orb to remove hit points fuel my SP to do multiple skills so it depletes my SP but one of the skills itself heals based on damage from the burn so it's a little bit of a loop So, Prime Chaos Orb scan, uh, spamming aside, let's see what happens here. So we have the Psionic Link. As you can see, I just healed a pretty massive amount there. That's a few Prime Chaos Orb stacks plus just the basic... heal there so let's see what it did in actual amount let's see 776 SP so um, it's basically a heal loop over and over and over and you can actually use it for looping in MP if you want to If I wanted to do it again here, increase the burn, so I've got from 7.1 power. It looks like it resisted that time. All right, let's see here. And that's another reason why I'm using Optico. It's just to increase that. 
inflict rate. I usually like to do uh, at least get darkness up to a decent amount, not just energy, just so that my creature 72 is actually helping me out quite a bit. So again, what we're going to do here is just eat into my hit points. Just to feel some of this. So you can you can go multiple ways. I want you can go with this the weapon skill, then this guy, or two of these guys. This time I'll actually go two of these guys. Fourteen point two. And we should get an all right amount of healing done so the the jelly heal will actually be less obviously without the ellie volume from the weapon but because i went twice i still um healed sp pretty well i think doing the weapon skill then doing the burn is actually more beneficial than doing two of the burn skills just because it you, you're going to get better heal out of jelly because of the ellie volume and then the combined Elevon of Zfinity Power and this guy and Optico will provide that heal there, but um, that Elevon is going to increase your burn heal. And so at the end of the day, um, I think that's um, the better route to go. So it's just it's just a loop there. And then again, I'm using Creature 72 to lower monster offense repeatedly. I'll go another route this time. I usually don't use this too much. So in this one, let's do Mind Bludgeon. And then this is actually free. You do an attack that just sets up an SP. Chi Shield, 355. The Chi Shield's pretty weak. If the monster so it just dropped the chi shield there so I was going to say if the monster surpasses SP there um, you'll get um, that drop so at the end of the day I think like I said going this route where you do the weapon skill first and then this is actually going to kill the monster, but um, then this guy will end up resulting in a little bit better um, hit point healing from Jelly. And just to demonstrate with practice trainer really quick, Maybe what I would do instead, let's do actually get a lot of front loaded, at least a couple celerities. So, again, we want to get our Elevon, and we'll actually grow it real quick. 189 plus we have the 142 so that right there alone is going to fuel your jelly and then you're going to get your SP back with this guy here now we have panic reducing monster offense we have 560 heal this one's gonna be larger 840 so he only hit me for 18 there, but of course it's the Chromac Practice Trainer. So I've got 0.39 on the Panic Stack. And then I'm basically near full on all three bars. All over again. And again, you can just do this whole routine over again. And then 
and as you can imagine damage is just going to grow each round so let's see now we're at 248 so we're just in a continuous loop here that was enough to kill it but the uh, SP hill probably would have been like 1500 or something there but anyway there you have it that's the I would say maybe the best way I've found to use that particular armor um, so far it's been something that has always had potential um, but I've always wanted to include a defensive element so I've always tried to just use the, the chi shield that's built in and I think that was a mistake I think the chi shield you could use it once panic has stacked like in a longer battle to the point where the monster's just not going to get through it at that point um, so I had tested this theory and um, instead of using the chi shield and trying to hard-headingly just sort of just go that route instead I just went the same route that I've mostly been going is just panic stacking and just using the loops that's there built in while still maintaining a grow, ever growing defense along with some heals and then you have your Ellie Vons to provide your offense as well as your SP regeneration.